What is up guys? We are back with some more Persona 3 reload and we're back at climbing the dungeon floors. Cool, we got that rare one to get. That's gonna be good. EXP. I think I got the right persona equipped on. Yeah. Doesn't it hurt to hit shadows with your bare fists and auto senpai? Well that won't be an issue if you're dedicated to training. Then the only one hurting is your opponent. Why do they say bare fists? He's like wearing gloves with spikes on them. Excellent. Looks Damn. Like that was an easy find. Sets a high level threats all over this floor. The entire area is crawling with strong enemies. Has that been a thing? I'm picking up on a large group of enemies ahead. We got three different fights to do? I'm going to use my jamming skill. Bunka's skill supports the party not only during combat, but also during exploration. She learns unique utility skills such as jamming, which renders you undetectable to foes. Press the touchpad during exploration to activate Funka's abilities. Like your other teammate skills, this costs SP, so use items to recover if you're running low. Jamming is a support skill that makes you undetectable to enemies. Use it when you're running low on HP or when you want to pick up treasure chests without being detected. Because jamming is ineffective against certain enemies, it is disabled once you enter combat or change floors. Alright, so... We want to just go this way. Hopefully that didn't actually cost SP and this is just like a freebie to show us. Oh, there's a treasure chest. We don't even care about that chest, honestly. It's the I I realized that the, the two Twilight Fragment pieces, uh to me at least, definitely are not worth it. In my opinion. I decided to just go for like the threes. Try running up from the bottom. He, he needs to chill. I don't know where he got that idea from. That was like the stupidest suggestion. We already started from the damn bottom. Ooh, 3100 yen. I'll take it. Oh, right, we got a fight. Hang on, I'm picking up another signal. There's another border floor coming up. It's nine floors from here. It's still pretty far up. Let's focus on the path ahead of us first. Okay, so 69 is the next border floor. Alrighty. We got two, two people max, two right now for the uh, thurgy stuff. Secunda, you're gonna lower all of our defense or attack. Oh, our evasion. Yes, please. Made him basically just like waste that turn. Okay, that's still a lot, like, right off the bat, but I guess it's because we got that, that damage buff, right? Oh, we got the freeze, too? What?
The almost max? Oh damn, not yet, huh? Not even sure what I wanna... Do I even wanna switch? No, I think that's part of like my thing for the personas. Is me switching is how I uh, end up getting my ERG or Thuji Thurgy, excuse me. Uh, uh, but okay, sweet, we got the the freeze. Now we can analyze. So no weaknesses. So we'll know not to use wind. That's good to know. Can we? Confused? Nah, we'll just lower your stat now. Oh wait, he has a uh, match. We do two here too, so uh, I don't know if I want to save this. High chance of inflicting down, so we'll just use this. Because I don't think it's frozen anymore either. That's still. Ooh! All out, let's go! Welcome up! Hey! Let's go. Let's go. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And we got Orphus with the level. Eerie sound. Medium chance to distress all foes. Oh. Okay. You're seriously leader material. Naturally. Well, aren't you oozing with confidence? But honestly, that's a reassuring trait to see in a leader. Anyway, we should get going after you, leader. Yeah, let's see if they got me. Oh, they got. We have two chests here that are three. Another tuxedo. Who's that for? Old bow. All right, I want to see how much better this bold bow is. My goodness, this floor is huge, isn't it? I imagine mapping it out in its entirety would be a lot of work. Oh, I should tell you something Kitty Joe Senpai told me. He said there's a reaper that appears in Tartarus. A reaper. Apparently, it will appear out of nowhere and chase you endlessly. And if you get caught, um, I think you know what's supposed to happen if a reaper catches you. Maybe it's trying to get rid of us since we're outsiders in Tartarus? While inside Tartarus, the Reaper may appear if you stay on the same floor for too long. Okay, so on the same floor too long, not just in general for being here in Tartarus. The Reaper is a terrifying foe. You'll want to avoid combat and hurry to the next floor as quickly as possible. She wasn't too sure on the details, but I guess it appears when you stay on one floor for too long. Jamming may not work on it, so please evacuate to another floor if you ever encounter it. Yeah, better not like pull the reaper out on us right here oh wow we got a good amount of stuff from her there i think it's incredible how you're able to juggle so many different personas you can practically guarantee favorable matches by swapping them out to a correlate with enemy weaknesses oh sorry i was thinking out loud yeah like just let the whole world know so this is where they stare we're getting close y'all Oh, the floor after this one is a border floor. It seems like the coast is clear for now, so you'll get a bit of a break. Oh my! What have we here? Currently, you appear to possess a great number of personas. Quite impressive, I must say. However, perhaps in your current state, you are able to utilize even more powerful personas. Should you feel so inclined, please make sure, or please make your way to the velvet room. Do they say that because I'm full, or? I don't know, I, I wonder if that's like, dang, yeah, we 
gain two levels in like a short period of time. Oh, from that last save, that is. I think overall I've gained like three or four levels. Let's go to 69. Just because that's the border floor. I don't think there's a fight on this floor. Document three. A new institution will launch on the island. The amount of money being poured into it is unheard of. I've been told to be a part of it. I'm worried. I have a bad feeling about this project. Huh. Alrighty. Let's head on out though. Whenever we return from Tartarus, do you Can I not use this tele Oh no, I can. Feeling exhausted? Um... So now we can just jump straight to 69. And then I can turn in one of these rewards too, real quick. Here are my requests. Let's hear the results. Thirty thousand. Let's hear the result. And we got other stuff to do here. Oh. Well. Very well then. I guess now, guys, we'll head out. My team's like, well, hmm. dang. I kind of want to show off his his skill, but we can do that another time. Hello? Yeah, we'll stop for the night. I want to see if there's any like other cutscenes real quick or not uh, because we pretty much have till the next full moon to do all my social links and stat increase stuff too so we'll see uh, how that goes in a bit I guess it's true that there have been fewer cases of apathy syndrome after our missions but then again that changes as we get close to the next full moon by the way what do you think of Kiroji Senpai yeah like what does she have against her don't you think she sort of pushed Fuka into joining too quickly? I know it's nice to have more Persona users around, especially in battle, but something just doesn't feel right. Yeah, I mean, then her, uh, was it her dad that, like, died or disappeared or something? Right. Suru asked us to come back to the dorm, uh, at the end of the day when we went off to school, so did my daily stuff with, uh, doing some social link, or some, one social link, and then we got hit with the cutscene when we came back here, so... She announced that you know all the all the second years were present and then Junpei is asking what we're here for. Ah, I had planned to give Yamagishi a tour of the dorm, but I realized I never actually showed it properly to any of you since you moved in. I apologize for that. I'd like to take this opportunity to make it up to you all. Yeah, sounds good. Uh, you've kind of been living here all this time. I think we get the picture by now. <laughs> if any one of us needs it, it's you. You do realize if you screw around and break something, you'll get us all in trouble, right? Thanks. Oh, come on! I'm getting by just fine. In fact, I know the place so well, I could give you a tour myself. Right, right. <laughs> you'll make a great assistant, then. Humor me a bit, won't you? With the increase in members, I'd like to expand our access to facilities. Wait, new stuff? Sweet! So what, are we gonna get, like, hot springs? Maybe a casino? You are so stupid. We'll just have to see now, won't we? With that, let's begin. Yamagishi, follow me. Oh, okay. Thank you for setting this up for me. This is the communal kitchen. Oh, looks so clean now. I didn't realize the kitchen was so big. I was planning to do this earlier, but with April's shadow attack and ensuing investigation, I just couldn't find time. It should be far more accessible now. You're free to use any of the kitchenware here. Do you all cook your own meals? I've seen Akihiko in here from time to time. As for myself, I can't say I do. We used to have someone who cooked with some frequency, but... Come to think of it, I only ever come here to get hot water. What about you? Yeah, I guess we'll try it. We, we like to, to whip it up a little bit. Diet, there's no better way than to cook it yourself. But it's not as cheap as they make it out to be. It's hard to use everything up before it goes bad. Wow, Yukari-chan. Does that mean you know how to cook? Huh? Oh, I mean, I can do it, I guess. But I'm no chef. It's been a while, and I've had my fair share of embarrassments. 
But with a kitchen this big, I think a couple people could work together in here. We can have the work, but double the flavor, you know? I should try it next time. If I invite someone to cook, we could use this kitchen to make something good. Moving right along then. Here's where we all hang. This is the lounge. Well, I suppose it requires no further explanation. Wait, is that a DVD player? When did that get here? Bro. Oh, that's mine. <laughs> I brought it with me from home. It's a bit of an old model, though. If I took it to my room, I'd be watching alone on my laptop. I hoped you all might make better use of it. And besides, I like the colors more when I watch on a CRT. The sofas here are pretty comfy. It'd be a perfect place to sit back and watch. Oh, maybe this would be a good place. There are some movies I've been wanting to see, but I'd rather not watch them alone. What's this? Is Yucatan afraid to watch horror flicks? It's quite a shocker to see your soft side. Hard to imagine you're even the same person. If you want to go ahead. And what exactly is that supposed to mean? Uh, wait, what did I say? I take it back. I didn't mean anything by it, I swear. You've got some nerve, Junpei. You better watch your back next time we go to Tartarus. Um, Yukari-chan? You're kind of scaring me. Probably watch DVD with someone here. Oh, we Netflix and chillin' and kinda, right? The first floor. Let's move up to the next. Is that how we unlock the, the social link with uh, Yukari, maybe? Oh, <laughs> by the way, Kirijo senpai are we allowed to borrow those books on the shelf in the back? Of course. Those books were donated by residents of the dorm. I peruse them from time to time myself. This area is pretty sweet. Nice and quiet. And let me tell you, those chairs are mwah, soft. When I cozy up here with a good book, I end up reading way late into the night. All you read is manga. <laughs> I think manga is a respectable form of literature. Maybe I'll try reading here as well. People are always coming and going from the lounge, so I could see this place being less distracting. I think I'd be able to focus and read a book here. Yeah, they're giving us like all these different uh, things to use for, I guess, our stats and whatnot. Yeah, social stats. Just one thing, Iori. When you finish a manga, put it back on the shelf. I don't want to see them piled up on tables and chairs. Hi, hi. Jeez. Keep an eye on Junpei so he doesn't make a mess of this place. Let's keep moving on, then. We'd been keeping the rooftop off-limits, but recently decided to open it up. The chairman wanted to start a small garden here. We've already been doing this. Wow! I had no idea there was something like this up here. Is it for growing vegetables? Oh boy, I can hear him now. Eat your veggies. Peace. That sounds about right. With a terrible smirk blasted on his face. I hear you're the one taking care of it. Looks like it's shaping up quite nicely. The chairman was right to put you in charge. Are you okay doing this all on your own? Oh yeah? You like this kind of stuff? Gotta admit, looks kind of fun. Maybe we'll be raking in the harvest after a while. When that time comes, let us celebrate! <laughs> Why don't you use that energy to help him with the garden? The more time and care you put into this kind of work, the better the results. Cooperating with someone on this may be worth your time. I might be a bit interested as well. That wraps up this area. Let's head back down. And that concludes the tour. Being shown around kind of makes me feel more motivated to make use of those places. Did you get all that? Anything you're still unclear about? 
Yeah, we, we understood. Good to hear. I hope your stay here is an enjoyable one. As long as all of us remain considerate, the dorm will continue to be a comfortable living space for all. If there's anything you'd like to do here, you may want to invite the others to join you. Yeah, we're all living under the same roof after all. Better make the most of it. I've never really done anything like this before, so I'm a little nervous. I'll try my best to enjoy myself here with you all. This may be coming a little late for most of you, but welcome to the dorm. This is just my my weekend Sunday order, pretty much. Nothing too special there. Oh, so now we got smiley faces here, huh? One of the girls in my class let me borrow a DVD. I told y'all we was about to be watching this movie with her. <laughs> I was thinking about watching it in my room, but it might be big, better to watch it on here's the TV. Sometimes these discoveries can be helpful in battle, so don't be shy approaching your teammates. Watching this DVD with your card might help improve my charm. Hell yeah, let's go. Storm life. Okay. It's like the stuff from overseas. This series is known for having a strong female protagonist. I've been curious about it for a while, but I heard it also has horror elements. No way. I've been totally looking forward to this. It's just this kind of thing is way more fun to watch with someone else, you know? Oh, wait, it's starting. Man, the tension is palpable. That cliffhanger really made me want to know what happens next. I guess it was more zombies than horror, huh? The main girl yeah. was just an ordinary person, but she stood so strong in the face of adversity. I love that. Of course. I, feel like I was able to focus on the story thanks to you. I'll let you know when I borrow the next one. I've begun to understand the charm of an adult. What? what the hell? Ooh, I'm gonna head off to bed. Good night. I guess good night. It's like gonna be like a lot more like social link stuff. Oh, we could join the art club now, huh? So I'm trying to think, what do we unlock for joining the art club? Hmm. Rome wasn't built in a day. Tango's for magic. Is this dude still talking about magic? He's been talking about magic since, uh, what month is this? July? Uh, or this is June actually, right? Yeah, this is June, so we've been talking about that since April, right? Ananism, totism, and shamanism all fall into this category. You learned all over the world. The last one, shamanism is important to the origin of the magic. Shaman, yeah. I don't know, it's kind of weird that he just wants to talk about magic. What earlier we just, he just said shamanism. I think maybe we don't have any other like cutscenes. I think it's still just uh, all the all the social links and stuff until we hit that full moon. So I'll cut it to when we get some more uh, momentum going, guys. The Kitty Joe group was on the news yesterday. Something about showing their true colors. Here we go. Oh, the student council president. I hear they're involved in a lot of things. Even this school's owned by the Kitty Joe group, right? I wonder why a company that big decided to build a school. Uh, the fine persona users? At a young age? 
Come to think of it, Elizabeth mentioned she had something important to discuss with. That's right. So Elizabeth called us up this morning and said we need to meet her at the Velvet Room. So she's here to tell us something. For Forgive me for calling so suddenly, but there's something I must bring to your attention. There seems to be a human presence within Tartarus, be within Tartarus between floors 48 and 53. So we have to rescue people. It appears to be someone without the potential who heard the voices of the shadows. If left alone, I fear they will become lost and may perish. Very well then. Please find and rescue them. Due to the influence of shadows, civilians will sometimes get lost in Tartarus and become missing persons. Missing persons will be somewhere in Tartarus and must be rescued within a set time limit. In the event someone goes missing, details will be posted on the bulletin board in front of the police station. Keep an eye peeled. Oh, okay. That's, that's definitely interesting, so I guess that means more trips to Tartarus for us. Which is fine, because we'll just grind it up, but... Again, we'll just cut to when there's more important shit going on. So we're, we're back to get some more gossip. I'm pretty sure they're just going to cut it off after and make us do some more social stuff. But I wanted to get this in the story anyway. By the way, you know Mitsuru Kir uh, Kirijo, the student council president? I heard she's going to study abroad after high school, probably to prepare herself to run the Kirijo group in the future. Wow. Wow, that's crazy. It's like she lives in a different world from us plebs. Plebs. But she's staying in a dorm, right? Why would a rich girl want to live in a dump like that? Maybe her family made her to understand how us ordinary folks live or something? These people really are gossiping like crazy about her. They're like, what's her rich ass doing here? Maybe she's trying to relate to us. Do you have a moment? Yup. I was just told that the chairman will be stopping by this evening. When you get back, make sure to come to the fourth floor. Oh, okay then. I'll see you all later. Yeah, I mean, not like you're asking us to to do the most, right? Talk about short notice. Maybe he wants to tell us a new joke. Who knows? But I am a little curious. Guess I'll head straight back today. Koro-chan, shake. We got a dog here. Okay. And it has red eyes, wow. Hey there. Kinda dope. Sure. Go on, Koro chan. You know how to say hi, right? White His dog. Even though like you know, most of its the fur I think is gray. Dog still goes on walks all by himself? I guess so. What do you mean? He used to belong to the priest at the Naganaki Shrine. Every afternoon, the two of them went this way for a walk. So that's what he was doing here. That is, until the priest passed away. Hey. Passed away? Oh. You haven't heard the story? Of course I think not. It was about six months ago. This dog been out here by itself for six by months. A car while walking his dog, he didn't survive. Ever since then, that dog has continued to go on walks, always stopping to sit by the site of the accident. But he refuses to let anyone take him in. Why? Just the other day, my son. It's not about your son. Oh my goodness! Look at the time. I must be going. My son will be home soon. She didn't have like a bag or nothing with her. It was just a random lady here to just tell us this shit. Oh, you're such a loyal dog. Good boy. Huh? Is he? What's wrong? Uh, oh, nothing. Sorry. More importantly, isn't the chairman coming today? We should probably go get ready. Yeah, you're right. See you later, Koro-chan. <laughs> Hello, everyone. What up? I gathered you all here because I wanted to let you know how my research has been going. Okay. It concerns the shadows that have been appearing during full moons. Now, I want you to listen closely. It might be hard to follow. Shadows can be divided into 12 categories according to their characteristics. Okay. This we've known for a while. 
we can think of it like their class or order. I've classified the special shadows we've seen so far, and well, it's simply fascinating. Why are you so excited about it? So... Ah, right. Those four shadows belong to categories one through four in order of their appearance. They may have looked different than the more common ones, but the classification scheme still applies. And that's something we should be excited about? Oh, I get it. There are 12 in all, and eight we haven't seen yet. So we got eight more full that's moons to exactly go through. exactly right, Yamagishi-kun. You're quite sharp. Oh, uh, okay, but what are they after? That's a good question, and that's what we haven't figured out yet. Wow. Their motive. They don't kill their prey. They feed on their minds. Now, it could be considered predation, but is it really? Is there actually an underlying intent behind their behavior? The purpose of the shadows as a whole. That's what we need to consider. This is interesting. But Very. no matter what their intent, we still have to beat the rest of them. Mm-hmm. Gotta whoop some ass. That's about all we can do at this point. Eight more, huh? Lucky us. According to the data, each one has been stronger than the last. That means we better start training harder. We'll manage. We've got plenty of time. But why does Tartarus even exist in the first place? Questions that need answers. But I guess is is Tartarus like something that was created when her dad died? That accident? The puzzle pieces are falling into place one by one. Those large shadows that only appear on the full moon. I wonder what their purpose is. Eight more remain. We have a long road ahead of us. Yeah, it's like a hundred hour story game. <laughs> yeah, looks like we just had that cutscene, so now it's time for us to go back to doing some social stuff and I'll Get you back in for the next cutscene, guys. We got something going down with the dark hour, y'all. Wasn't prepared for it. It just kind of popped up uh, on this new day after I just ended up working at the store. So I think this is just an event that happens on 622. Oh, he came out of the coffin. What the heck? How did I? Whoa. What the heck is this? Hey, who, the, who the hell are y'all? Are you surprised? Truth be told, we all visit this world every night. What are you saying? It's, who the hell are you? I mean, are you recruiting or, or what? <sighs> Didn't mommy teach you any manners? You haven't even introduced yourself. Come on, take a look. Name, address, age, etc. This is you, right? Huh? Where did you get this? How can you even see it that fast and from Somebody's that distance? Somebody's got a grudge against you. And they asked us to get revenge. Revenge? What kind of bullshit is this? Is this the dude that punched Who Jinfei in the stomach? It? Or is someone else? Can't tell you. We're professionals. Professionals? Oh shit. Those rumors online. You're saying they're true? For real? Shall we get this over with now? Hey, wait! I haven't done anything! Why me? what I do? That is not our concern. Well, I will go fuck. We were just paid. Wrong is irrelevant. My client's wishes are all that matter. People hear what they choose to hear and believe what they want to believe. Who's this fruit basket? No! Stay away! Get away from me! You squeal most magnificently. Such raw He pulled out the emotion. revolver on him so quick. Ooh. My oh, dog out here messing with the green screen. It's not dead. Uh oh. Doesn't matter. We held up our end of the bargain. Besides, tomorrow this will just seem like some random crime. Well. If there's and he has a five-pointed star tatted on his tired. lower back. Hey, 
interesting. Have you heard? Have you heard of this revenge website? If you post someone's name on the website, they'll get revenge for you. It's a hundred percent guaranteed success rate and completely anonymous. What? I want to check it out. So we got to go by the URL, I guess. Interesting. But I guess that's what we'll be uh, trying to get to the bottom of <laughs> until the next full moon, I guess. They keep hitting us with these cutscenes, y'all. I'll have what he's at. Coming right up, one house special. Don't you get sick of eating the same thing all the time? Shut up. You're the one always eating that protein shit. <laughs> Here you go. One house special. Uh, be careful. It's hot. Better be. So, you still haven't made up your mind? Is that what this is about? We've got four new members this year. Things have changed quite a bit since you left. We're more aggressive now. I'm not interested. Think about it, Shinji. Don't let your power go to waste. My power ain't worth shit. Ooh. Persona user. Persona user. Shinji. I made up my mind a long time ago. I ain't going back. You have to let the past go. What's done is done. It's time you moved on. <laughs> you should talk. What? Face it. You're no different than me. I mean, y'all kind of sound similar. <laughs> hey, Shinji. <sighs> well, I wonder what their deep dark past is there. Two weeks till the next full moon. Uh, so like a lot of social stuff going on. So I'm like high key ready to see what type of drama Yukari is about to have pop off because she doesn't trust uh, Mitsuru. She thinks something's up. She's hiding something from us. And now she wants to talk to uh, Fuka here, it seems. It's okay. What's on your mind? Why did you join? Well, uh, I was hoping you could do me a favor. With your skill, I mean. I was doing some research on our school, and I came across something strange. Maybe it's something totally ago, unrelated. A lot of students stopped coming to school for some reason. They were reported as absent at the time. But I found some records that suggest otherwise. Do you know anything about it, Fuka? Me? Um, not really. I know it was a long time ago, but doesn't it seem suspicious to you? From what I've heard, this isn't the first time shadows have appeared. Mm. Wait, are you saying... It's a reoccurring thing. I don't know, but I do wonder. And I'm not trying to make trouble or anything, but... Kirijo Senpai acts kind of weird whenever someone brings up Tartarus. Does she? I just want to know what happened back then. And if it doesn't have anything to do with the shadows, then fine. I understand. Okay. I'll see what I can do. I don't know, got a choice, right? Oh, it's you. Welcome back. Thumbs going down. Oh, we're about to be visited by the mysterious boy again. Oh, Pharos, there we go. Can you guess what I'm going to tell you? Uh, yeah, it's about the freaking full moon coming You're up. You used to it by now, huh? Yep. The next full moon will be in one week. Are you prepared? Be careful, okay? Oh, you care. And don't worry. That's interesting. I'll come see you again.
That's it? Dude popped up in our room at fucking midnight for that shit? Good morning. According to the cycle, it should appear on July 7th at midnight, six days from now. The number of incidents have also started increasing as we get close to the full moon. Stay alert. Ma'am, yes, ma'am. And at this pace, guys, I'm going to end the episode off right here just because I have too many days in between when the next full moon is and there's like tiny events happening, but not enough. And I think I want to have the next video actually have that full moon fight in it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you leave a like for the video. It helps with the video a lot. And also subscribe to the channel because it lets me know you enjoy the content and see right here. But with that said, stay sharp. Later.